I hear from many of my students who just had babies that daddies are spending far more time at home bonding more. All sorts of good things are happening. But the person who, you know, is putting the roof on their uh, home, the person who's delivering their groceries, I don't know what's happening to their kids. Mm -hmm. And I think that, you know, as you're talking about what's happening among people who are who are earning enough money to kind of have that flexibility to spend more time with their kids, I wonder if we're at the same time really seeing the substitution among care workers that you're kind of advocating for in work life, right? So even though I think it is the case that dads might be spending more time with their kids, it's not necessarily the case that they're, you know, developing the same level of skill that would allow them to be substitutable, right? And so it's, often the case that those kind of primary care duties still fall onto women, uh, even though men are spending more time, unless you really push for that, as I do in my own right. household. Um, one of the things that also kind of stood out to me that we've been thinking a lot about at GATE as well is the idea of how certain policies like flex time or, um, you know, can create what you call a female enclave, working from home, having flexible time, having things like parental leave. Um, do you have any ideas around what is creating that enclaving? Like, do you think it is related to the same kind of conceptualizations of greedy work um, that are contributing back into men not wanting to use those um, policies that are available to them? Well, I think that if, if we begin with the notion that what happened in March of 2020 didn't suddenly change um, traditions and norms and expectations of various generations about what people should do, that we still have uh, women taking more responsibility for their kids and for their parents and for their husband's parents. Mm -hmm. And given that, they are going to uh, opt more to uh, work from home at least part of the time. It gives them it gives them that much more flexibility. And so, um, so there is a, a, a good question about whether if men could also work from home, whether they're not doing it because they're shunning, eschewing, fleeing mm -hmm. from those, mm -hmm. those, uh, those responsibilities. Yeah. Yeah. But in fact, what we have seen in the data is that uh, the answer to that CPS question that I mentioned before, that even the latest information that we have shows that men are actually uh, answering the question to about the same degree, if not more than women in terms of whether they're, this is for the more educated group. For the less educated group, women are opting a little bit more to work from home than, than men. But the, the big divide there is not by gender, the big divide is by education.